Have it already? That's even better. Don't worry, Duke. Okay, so we're going to try something different today, tonight. Um, it's not me that's going to be speaking on the stage. It's you. Uh, this is called karaoke presentations. And the way it works is we have three categories. Each category has some possible topics. So the first category is Joomla. And the possible topics you can speak on are automated testing, backups. I use Joomla because updating Joomla broke my website, living the dream, my favorite extension, making money with Joomla, and Joomla 4 will be... That's one subject area. The second subject area is community. We have Joomla is my family. Joomla user groups, my first Joomla event, J and Beyond, beer, teamwork, leadership, and online communication. The third subject area is FML. Because this is being recorded, if you don't know what FML stands for, ask your person sat next to you or use Google. Again, the possible topics in FML are updating Joomla broke my website, uh, the last book you read, uh, I broke Joomla. <laughs> I forgot my password. Because of Joomla, I have no life. Uh, lost in translation. I need it now. And I work from home. So this is how it works. You come up on stage and you choose one of these three topics. So if I choose Joomla, I then press go, and that's my topic. You get one opportunity to reject that and choose something else, but then you have to choose whatever the next thing is. So if you don't want making money with Joomla, you can pick again, but then you have to talk on automated testing. So I will then press begin and the, the two-minute presentation starts. The slides have been pre-selected. <laughs> they change automatically every 10 seconds. And you have two minutes to talk on, in this case, automated testing. Now, I know and appreciate that not everybody speaks English as their first language. So if you want to take part and you don't feel confident enough to do it in English and you want to do it in Polish, in German, in Swedish, whatever, you can do that as well. So you can do it in your native language if you so choose. And can I have a show of hands? The people were in the session with Duke this morning about how to give a presentation. Okay, I was in there as well, so you can't lie. I was sat at the back. So this is your opportunity to show Duke what a great teacher he is and all the lessons that you have learned from Duke's presentation. Oh, God. You'll be embarrassed. You'll never come again. Um, this is going to be open to anybody who wants to take part. And <laughs> I'm... One person was begging me that they wanted to do this, and so I'm going to make them go first, and that's Peter. <laughs> Tough. <laughs> so, Peter, what subject would you like? Joomla, community, or FML? I'll go with community. Community. Let's go. So you have the choice. You can speak on this subject, or we can pick again. But if you pick again, you don't. You have to take that one. Yeah, this is too easy. Do another one. <laughs> oh, he's confident. Okay, pick again. Oh. Okay, so I will press begin. 
the slides will start, your two minutes yours, and you know it's finished because it says thank you. There will be a count, sorry, there will be a countdown. Yeah? So, are you ready for the countdown? Um, yeah. Okay. So, this is a slide I prepared earlier. Um, <laughs> Um, so as you can see, um, <laughs> this is what a, a normal jug looks like. Um, and um, as you can see here, we begin with the group, and then we have this. Um, first time I uh, went to a jug, I saw this jug, and I thought, pretty jug. And um, yeah, the topic there was, what is leadership? And I'm, yeah, it's working. The battery is gone. And as you can see, a real leader uh, builds a path through a, a mountain single-handedly <laughs> by uh, lying in bed <laughs> and waiting for someone else to do it. Um, like uh, this cat and these, uh, we finished the jug, and uh, it tasted pretty well. And uh, like we say in Joomla, all for one and one for all. Uh, his name is Jug. <laughs> and he is the guy that inspired the whole Jug scene in Joomla. Um, there he is, a few years later. <laughs> so to go back to one of the slides, uh, this is the different repression. I think the battery is gone, by the way. Um, and I think this is the end of my presentation. Um, this is what I felt like after the, we finished the jug. And, and that's me. Thank you. Okay, just for reference, for the next people that come up, the battery's okay, you just need to keep it closer to your mouth. You were, what you were doing, Peter, we're going, ooh. Yeah, they, they say it's not. So, who else would like a go? Rebco. He needs props. So, okay. So, Remco, what subject area do you want? FML. <laughs> FML. And let's see what your topic is. Oh, I hope for this topic. Okay. You ready, you ready for the countdown? Yeah. Right. Yeah, you can. Okay. Go ahead. Well, either just illustrated. This is the way the jugs went. And when I saw this, I had only one thought in my mind, and it was, what is this and how do we x-ray it? So, this is actually an x-ray of my x-ray. Right? Yeah, but wait for it. <laughs> I, I, I drove my bike on the curb and I hit the curb, and I thought, wait. So, I had time. I was lying there. Time to think. <laughs> Time to think about what I would be doing today, knowing I had to give this talk. So, I considered vodka. <laughs> but riding a bike, drinking vodka, not a good combination after you've already had this. So, I did a quick uh, dump and a chart of it. And you can't see, but it, these are Dutch snacks. Them very much, and I, I really think the battery is dead. But um, he pointed last night, he tweeted me. I, I said, Obama, you have to help me here. What am I gonna do? So he sent me this. <laughs> I think, what? So I texted him back. I said, I need inspiration now. <laughs> and then I got this. 
so stroke waffles aren't in there. So I thought maybe I'm looking at this the wrong way. So I put on my glasses, which I don't wear usually. I did some calculations on what my budget was talk. And then I looked in my bag and I found I had these. So you are the creator of your own destiny. Thank you. Who wants this? Who wants this? Hey, who is going to be the next? Yes, yes, yes. You put your hand. I love it. You put your hand up, and when I pointed to you, you went, me? <laughs> me? That means. So, uh... that's your microphone. Uh -huh. Okay. So, which subject area would you like? FML. I'll try to do it in English, because there are only three people speaking Spanish. So, this is the one that's been chosen. You can take this or you can try for something else. Pick again. Oh. No. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so they will count down. Okay, one night my cat was with me while I was coding and I forgot my password. I couldn't get into Git. So I decided that, well, maybe uh, next time I will let my cat sleep on top of my desk and the baby of the neighbors will knew the password. Okay. <laughs> so what can you do when you don't remember your password? Wait, you need to think. You need to remember the three words you always use. <laughs> and your cat will stare at you like you're stupid. <laughs> because you won't remember those three words. So, let's go for a walk. Take a ride on a horse. <laughs> have some community with nature. And think about a fourth word. With hamsters in it. Because you always remember hamsters. You know, they, they curl, they eat. They're funny. It's easy to remember a hamster. And no, no, no don't use it to, remember, to make the password because password manager is not a good password. We have space on it. Better go with death. <laughs> because using death metal songs titles of passwords is not boring, it's funny, it's nice. You will always remember a good death metal song title. <laughs> no? So go straight forward, pick your favorite death metal song and use that as a password. Of course, change the vowels with numbers and reverse a couple of letters and you end with something like a red dinosaur in a gummy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Hey, who's next? Somebody here with Mike Demo. Oh, Mike? <laughs> FML. Oh, FML? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it should be community, but. Um, no, no, no. no it's, it's your. It's your community? Yes, or pick again? Ready? Yeah. Three, three, two, one, go. So you need to wait for the start of the presentation. My slides aren't ready yet, so we need to wait a few seconds to move forward. But uh, now, as everyone knows, Saturn V, NASA, it's all about teamwork. It's all about 
And we, my first event, I was introduced to this community. And at this community, I was getting lots of crappy swag, mostly notebooks. These notebooks, you know, I toss them out, wouldn't use them. I mean, it's a digital event. Who wants that? However, there was lots of empty bottles after the after party. <laughs> so in one of those bottles um, is a note. And as you know, there's culture. And it was very hard to break in to the culture of Joomla. I was an outsider over in this non-green area. And I wanted to break into Joomla. And I was just on my first Joomla in Chicago. So I was over here trying to break in to the center, into the group. And I was just a subject. So we look at the heart of OSM PLT and CLT. And I was trying to find a place to volunteer. And I was having a hard time getting involved. And I failed. The first team I did, I joined the JED team. And I was kicked out. I was failed. I failed. But I got closer with some people of the community. Um, some people I got very close. Alex. Alex. <laughs> And then I said, why bother? He's in Poland, and he is not interested with, in me in, at all. So that's, you know, I did some other events. And I have that cell phone. And you can see how many downloads Joomla's had. <laughs> <laughs> and we had the crash of the internet when the SaaS soft options were um, introduced, Wix, Weebly, and Squarespace. Frank? Yeah. Uh, Frank, which category do you want? I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Let's try Thanks. a different way. Let's try a different way. Which, uh, let's, let's, which category let's, let's, should Let's make Frank a vote. Have? Which? <laughs> Decision made. Okay. okay. Frank, your topic is? Okay. Updating Joomla broke my website. Three, two, one, go. Okay, I got this call and it was a very upset client. I was just going, oh God, not him again. Why bother with it? Yeah, he always does it. And he's, he's thirsty for success, but he's not very capable of getting things done. So he calls me all the time. And I feel like drowning. I just arrived at this beach, trying to crawl my way up to get a side running again. And he thinks everything which I do is just eating sweets, coding, and everything will go right. The problem, a lot of times, there's something missing in my life. And this is what you see there, the coffee. It's never enough. So I tried to fake it. I just just take some water, make it hot, and try to drink it. The thing is, it really does not work. Yeah. And that's the reason why I'll be never be able to finish my project on time. So I do brainstorming and everything I just, just put into a to-do list and a task list. And the problem, it's not very structured. Here you see an example of it. <laughs> and so I try really to get the site running again for my client. <laughs> so this is, this is definitely... <laughs> Okay, this, this was so easy. So, what I basically try to do then is I, I try a substitute. Yeah, so I replaced coffee with wine. <laughs> the problem is, I dress even worse when I do this. Thank you. <laughs> Who's next? Who's next? Pass. Okay. It, wait, you can see the slides on there as well. So it's 
So, uh, Path, which category do you want? What do you want? Okay, so Path wants to know, do you want Joomla? Yeah. Community? Yeah. FML? Yeah. Uh, community. I think Community was one that. So, this one or something different? Something different. Ah, okay. We all know about this. Uh, should I pick? Woo! So, you know, it needs teamwork to make that happen. And we have a great team here. So, I'm sure we can make it happen. But we need to plan. And we need a project manager. Any volunteers? <laughs> oh, come on up. Come on. Come, come, come. So we have our first hire. We have the project manager. But there are 2.7 2 billion searches on Google uh, every month about spacecraft. You have a hard time, my friend. And yes, these guys are there to distract you. So be careful. <laughs> Launching spacecraft is not easy. You should not get distracted. Focus. Yes, that is very important as well. If you don't wear pants, that's one less decision. <laughs> less distraction, you need to focus. We need to fly a spacecraft. And it's gonna need a lot of money. With Trump, that's not gonna be easy. So we need to find some place to make money. So let's build a bridge. Yeah? And when we build a bridge, what we can do is, we'll say that we built a bridge, but we won't build a bridge. Yeah? That'll get us some money. And yes, again, no distractions. Cats under the table. Don't look down. Now let's focus. Now we have chicken. Now you'll ask me, what's chicken got to do with spacecraft? Well, it's got everything to do with it. And again, money. But again, don't get distracted. Chicken is just for the food so that you can eat. Cats, stay away from. Money will be arranged. And focus, the circle of control. Can you see that? There's a circle of concern. There's a circle of influence. And there is a circle of control. Did you know that? Thank you. Derek. Okay. Um, okay, so yeah, I'll go with FML. Yes. Um, so, you know, once uh, one night I had this like ocean of ideas how to improve uh, my website. Um, and, but the, pro the, problem, the problem was I wasn't really sure how to swim in it. So I just, I just lie down on my bed, just started looking at, uh, at ideas online, right? Just, I was just searching and searching and searching. I, I cried blood, literally, when I saw some of those, some of those ideas that was just instead of tears, there was blood. I really didn't know what to do with that. Now, this is one of the examples. I mean, <laughs> come on, look at it. I mean, so, mm, what is it? Uh, do you want, yeah, yeah, uh, but no, I, uh, yeah, this is breaking down. I started thinking about it. I needed some tactics. I needed to build a strategy first. So I thought about that. I built, I created for myself like a workflow, how it's going to connect to the database, how the data will be sent to a separate server and everything and everything and everything and everything like that. But then I, I realized this is going to cost me some money and uh, serious money. And you know, I went to the bank and <laughs> <laughs> I went, I just hopped off my, hopped on my bike, went to the bank, I, uh, f uh, I got a loan, so I got, managed to get all my resources, so then everything was going great, everything was, moved. everything was, uh, everything was great, basically. But then, I, uh, my plan wasn't as good as I thought, so when I actually acted upon it, that's when my website broke down. And I could just hear this, you know, you know, I know the, 
person who wanted me to build a website is going to freaking kill me. So I hid in the biggest crowd I could freaking find. I just went to Woodstock. Thank you. Right at the front row. Robert, you can see the pictures on there as well. Perfect, thank you. Uh, Robert, what subject do you want? Community. <laughs> Pick again? Pick again. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> yes? Sure. Good evening, Jen Dobre. We're going to talk about predictions for Jane Beyond up to 2049. Who knows what Jane Beyond 53 will be like? Uh, hopefully, we'll have huge crowds of uh, many white old males attending. <laughs> but we're really shooting for a more uh, inclusive environment. So that'll be fantastic, um, as long as you don't wear your headphones while you're trying to listen to presentations. I, I don't know what to do with this kitty cat. <laughs> so this guy follows me around to all the events I go to. It's very disturbing. He's very distracting. He's got very big eyes. Prevents me from getting to work on time. Getting to the Joomla event. And laughs a lot at me. With his eyes, though. He doesn't speak. Let's make this clear. He's just very devious. Um, <laughs> did I mention that a bunch of old white men will be at the next uh, Joomla <laughs> Jay and Beyond? <laughs> They're going to ride in on uh, T-Rexes. The, boy, the, 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 this gets even more confusing. So <laughs> from dinosaurs to the more inclusive and certain sort of <laughs> cat, distraction cat. I think everyone's recognized this cat across uh, many presentations. Uh, quite surprised that we haven't mentioned cats in uh, inclusivity. And we're going to go places. Jane Beyond is taking us in, uh, to new heights and uh, a future of great content management. So what does this all mean? It all means that we should support the teams that we're all part of. We have teams with cats, teams with uh, old white men, inclusive teams, and we should also support the great Joomla team that we are so we can all buy hoodies by going to jmbeyond.org slash donate. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Again, let, let, me, let me reach out a hand for this. <laughs> Begging jmbeyond.org slash donate. <laughs> okay, next volunteer, Nicholas. I feel lucky. Pick okay. whatever. That's way too easy. You want me to do it? Yes. You want me to do it? Yes. Yes. Do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three, two, one, go. OK, to put it another way, whenever I try to update Joomla on my side, something breaks. <laughs> and I always go on Twitter to say about it. Uh, usually when this happens, it's very early in the morning, so I'm actually not wearing any pants. And this means that I don't get to wear any pants throughout the entire day, which is a bit disturbing. Try to erase it from your mind and instead um, put something else in your mind, like uh, uh, people <laughs> instead of me. But really, this is not a presentation about people. This is a presentation about um, our focus, which is breaking our sides. Uh, <laughs> sorry, updating Joomla. Um, <laughs> Sometimes updating Joomla is like riding a rocket, which means that uh, you either get to the moon or you explode in a billion pieces <laughs> as you're trying to leave the atmosphere. Um, uh, after you explode, some people are going to analyze uh, all those bits, uh, I mean, the explosion that happened and try to figure out why did it break. Um, this is like the PLT meeting when they try to figure out what's going on and, and they're like, Omerta, we're not going to say that we broke it. It's Nicholas's fault always. <laughs> Meanwhile, this is my heartbeat going on overdrive trying to figure out how the hell am I going to fix my site that's currently broken. 
and I cannot make any money because my site is my only source of income. Uh, this is the big risk. Do not base your business on just one site because you will be screwed eventually. Um, so I have to just uh, clean my glasses and start working on it and figure out what the hell am I going to do? Where am I going to find George and beat him up for breaking Joomla? Uh, so I get on a plane, I go all over the world and I find George where else? Here at uh, Jay and Beyond, drinking a beer at the back of the room. I can see you, George. I'm coming for you, and this is how you will look like when I'm done with you. <laughs> Who else wants to have a go? Oh, Alexander. Thank you. And uh, what subject area do you want, Alexander? Let's try community. Oh. Yay, let's do it. Wait, I'm not a beer person, actually. So I don't know if I can tell you a thing or two about beers. But I know that beer is an important part of Joomla community. So until I'll be able to... Uh, make you in being interested in some good liquors, yes. let's think of beers for a while. So, you know, sometimes you don't have a choice. You actually have to drink beer. <laughs> and Che and Beyond is one of those places. Uh, so don't try not to like, uh, we don't accept any excuses, don't we? So you always need to have a drinking plan. We in Poland know that very well. Like eating is important before that. Then you need to plan how much you drink. Then you need to do it. And then you need to check in the morning. You have a bottle of water next to your bed because otherwise you will look like this. <laughs> and I'm not joking. Like that's serious. Drinking needs to need to have some plan. Well, someone is like getting into more specific things and even you know trying to count the Balmer's peak and stuff like this. But, well, just generally speaking, like, drink, be prepared. Because otherwise, uh, the environment you'll be, your drinking environment may look like this, and believe me, that's not a pleasurable environment to drink at. <laughs> well, I'm all looking forward until I'll finish this one. I'll go to the nearest bar and grab one or two beers with all of you. So thank you very much, because I think that will be my last slide. No, we still have one more. <laughs> Because I must have forgotten about something, and he's reminding me that the best way to drink beer is with good company, with people like you. And yes, let's take that to the next level. Let's go to space. And wait, by the way, do you know how beer behaves in space? Like it, it's in those bubbles. Like you can just jump and drink it. That's pretty impressive, actually. Um, and speaking of different things, oh, thank you. <laughs> Somebody else wants to have a go? Duke, Duke you ready? Yeah. 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 Subject area, Duke? Okay, uh, so Duke's going to be brave. Uh, he wants you to choose, so Joomla? Joomla. Community? Or FML? Yeah. I think the answer was unanimous there. <laughs> Do it or change it? Tell us the story. You decide. You decide. Pick again. Suicide. Oh, that's a nice story. Go. It is amazing. This, this book that I read is about how to turn your ship around. It's a true story of a World War II captain who used to dress up like this on the weekends, but when he was actually with his team and on the ship, they actually had to come up with new plans for how to make the worst ship in the fleet operate better. I mean, they actually looked into every, every area they could think of. They even consulted Morpheus to see if they could <laughs> take the, the red pill or the blue pill. And of course, that, cho that choice is never revisited. They had to come up with a leadership plan but of course, it required attention, and all of our people were just nodding off on the job because it was not an empowered leadership. They hadn't delegated. It just wasn't inspiring. So of course, they had to have a little bit of mental infusion and, and really understand how neurons and synapses connect with each other. And we actually had to, to 
build together that neural network of connection to get everyone working in the same direction. So they went back to their plan. They looked at their outcomes. They looked at their inputs. inputs. They figured out exactly how to put it all together so that they could get this rocket taking off on its direction. But there was a challenge there. There are crossroads along the way. You don't know what's going to happen next. Are you going to go left? Are you going to go right? Will you find the connection that takes you to the Emerald City, where you can find the wizard and find the plan that will help you save the entire planet and, of course, turn your ship around so that you'll be rescued. And did you know that that last place ship turned into the best ship in the Navy? That submarine was completely turned around. I rec highly recommend this book for anyone in a leadership position, but do read it with your glasses on because there is fine print. <laughs> oh my gosh, and do not fail under no circumstances. I mean, this is a mission critical organization. We deliver websites around the world. Entire businesses are, are you know, require this activity, especially Starbucks. And so with that, get your card out because you're gonna get a free coffee at every Starbucks around the nation. I think we'll just do uh, two more. Um, So you want to do it, Lisa? You want to pick the topic? Do we allow Lisa to come and do uh, OK. What did you want? Lost in translation. OK, so that's. OK, my heart is beating. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let me try again. Which one was it you wanted? I lost on translation. There's always one smart ass, isn't there? You ready? So Brian prepared some slides for me, and um, I thought about in which language should I present this uh, topic. And um, yeah, it was the funeral of my grandma. My grandma is coming from Poland, therefore, ja też mówię po polsku. I ja poszłam do Polski i oni wyrzucili telefony. Wszystkie telefony wyrzucili. I um, ja myślałam, ja muszę się spojrzeć na to, dlaczego oni wyrzucają te telefony. Przecież można zużyć, może gdzieś indziej wysłać um, do innego kraju, może do uh, Hiszpanii. Um, um, yo, yo aprendo español un poco. Um, yo soy en Nürnberg. Uh, Nürnberg ist ja bekannt dafür, um, grad... <laughs> also... <laughs> <lacht> ähm, ja, auf jeden Fall äh, zurück zur Arbeit. Ähm, ich habe durch meine Arbeit ähm, Leute kennengelernt, die auf so einen Englischstammtisch gehen. Und ähm, äh, I went there to um, uh, English Stammtisch in my hometown. And there were some people and I said, ah, where do you come from and what are you doing? And uh, some people were also web people, but uh, in the end, I, I saw they are um, from Netherlands. I spreek ook een beetje Netherlands. Het is een beetje moeilijk, maar versta je me? Ja, spreek ik wel. Ja. With my language skills, I could go maybe also to the army or something or what uh, a squad. Um, but I need a plan B because I have to decide for one language. Um, and so I decided um, to say thank you. Dziękuję bardzo, gracias. So we maybe, oh, Soren wants to be, I think this will be our last one before the beer, so.
Yeah. Oh, come on. Uh, he should be the last he one, right? Sorry? Yeah, thank you. Jumla. Yes. Or pick, or pick, yes, or pick again. Uh, yeah, I choose, yeah. Well, um, actually, the world has changed and my topic has changed a little bit as well. I want to talk about something a little bit different. And I want to talk about why you should be donating, each and one of you, to our new donation page. Um, it's by the cost of a, a coffee, you can, um, you can help the Joomla project greatly. Uh, so let's say if you uh, donate $5, then uh, it, it actually turns into $20 for the project. And if you think about the number of searches there are on Google every month, or yeah, every month, then you can really see how a few little, kind, small little donations can turn into a big, 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 big thing for Joomla. So I think while I'm doing this, in two minutes, we have one minute left, get out your phone, go to jnbeyond.org forward slash donate and donate $5 or more. Um, because did you know that this money goes to help the paying people and, 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 and people to, like this person could be the next person that we invite to a Joomla event to come and, and, and be, be part of uh, uh, these experiences. And I don't want to stand here and lecture you like a big boss or anything like that, but I think you all know inside that it would really help the project if you did this. Um, so your focus might be to go and have a beer instead or something like that, and that's okay, I can totally understand that we're all here to have fun and, and to meet each other, but think about it, just think about it, because we have a unique opportunity to quadruple each donation. So uh, this might mean that next time we can go to an event in the United States and we could do something similar over there. So don't be a lazy cat, get up off your chair. <laughs> And, and, and uh, find some money. Uh, we know you each have one, just a little bit. It'll really help the project. I don't know what else to say. I'm getting to the end of my talk. And, uh, you know, I tried to do this uh, maybe almost with a Buddhist uh, uh, kind of philosophy that, um, you know, don't be a scared cat. And, uh, and uh, yeah, keep going. Uh, that's pretty much all I had to say. So donate. Thank you. I think now is the time for beer. Yeah. Sorry? No, you get to play MLS. Come on, Ryan, you got to do that. MLS. Oh. No, no, no. Oh. Oh. Let's go, Ryan. Let's go, Ryan. Everyone get out of the way. Oh. Which one? So the thing about Joomla that I learned really early on is that you can't really run it on a mobile phone. And the problem with the mobile phone is all of these are Nokia 3210s. Now I thought the Nokia 3210 was as popular as a bag of nails. <laughs> but the problem is, as you may you know, the Nokia 3210 has now been relaunched. It's now a phone that you can actually say, or to put it another way, you can now have a phone that will last the battery for an entire week. Now that's an exciting thing to know, because one of the problems with that is, is that the Nokia 3210 is not like the Samsung that would blow a bird up. Now, I, when I was a little boy, I had thought about being a fireman, but then I had an epiphany when I was on holiday, and I was on this island, and I was thinking, what am I going to do with my life? What can I do better than putting out fires? And so I made a decision. I've come to regret that decision probably almost every single day since. Um, but then I went to Japan. No, sorry, I went to K Kenya. I think that's Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so that's just showing that I do know, do know some geography other than that. But I do have one regret. And that regret is that I have no discipline in my life. I am not able to make a decision to say just one hour on the bug tracker. <laughs> um, because... Although the world has changed for you and you have a life and you go to work and you have family and you have friends and you go to the movies, 
my life is sitting in front of the computer looking at that bug tracker or possibly looking at Alison's Facebook feed where I can see all the squirrels that Alison uh, seems to love. Because every time I see one of those, I just can't help but get excited about my childhood. The toys that I used to collect, the little toy soldiers that used to live on top of my cupboard. Wasn't life so it's simple then? Simple like sushi. You know, <laughs> how you can take some simple ingredients and make something wonderful like Jumla. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, just one final thought. Um, I hope that this idea of karaoke presentations uh, is a success and you've enjoyed it. Yep. Um, the code for it is on GitHub. Um, I'm going to update it a little bit and uh, read me how you can localize it for your own Joomla day, wait, wait, which files you have to translate, and hopefully this is something that we'll start to see at other Joomla days and maybe Joomla World Conference and Joomla community events around the world. So thank you very much and enjoy a beer. <laughs>